noobs, nubs, scrubs, low-level players, whatever the fuck you want to call them. They are a serious issue for me. Especially when I'm doing missions. Contact missions or even a heist. But for this part, these motherfuckers really pissed me off. The one in the yellow, I believe is a fucking troll. Because he, he dies almost every time. The person in the, in the car with me, he just sucks. And the one like, that didn't move at all, he, he gave up. He just quit. He said, fucking I'm done. I, I'll be done too. Because, watch. It, it's that, that one person, see him, dies every time. Why he, he doesn't take his time. He rushes in. And it fucking pisses me off. Because he does it on purpose. It's like, no, it's, it's no accident. It's no fucking accident. I, I watched him. Before I even started recording, I watched this motherfucker walk in, no weapons at all, and just die. Now, you tell me, is he a troll or not? I'm not saying all low-level players or noobs are trolls, but most of them are. Especially this motherfucker. And it is like, you don't want them around when you're trying to do something or accomplish a certain mission. Some people just tell me, hey, why not just kick them? No. No. They might be useful. But I ain't listen. I did not listen at all. These motherfuckers were not useful in any way. Especially one that just fucking gave up. He's probably taking a shit or something. He, he just said, no. Fuck it. They're just gonna keep dying. And he must have caught on to what the motherfucker was doing. Just walking in and dying. And it's terrible. It's terrible. Not all low level characters or players are bad. It's just... I know, I've seen plenty of them with skill. I mean, like, a few of them took on the Pacific Standards Heist with me, and they were way lower than what I was. I'm level 5, 5, 11, yeah. And they were level 12, uh, and level 25, and a level 45, and, th like, we went through that shit with no problems. First try, and everything, but... It's like these guys are the complete opposite of what they were. These motherfuckers are completely done. I don't know about the person that's not moving, but I know the dude that's with me right now and the one in the yellow car was straight ass. But then again, the one in the yellow car must have been a fucking troll. And yeah, like I said, the one with me is ass, but I can't, I cannot understand, like, what what are they thinking? Uh, do they have any type of skill? Do they know you can duck behind cars, throw fucking, if not sticky bombs, proximity mimes? I mean, you can get the heat-seeking rocket. I mean, shit, y'all have this shit. I know y'all do. I've seen all of them. In the beginning of the mission, pull out at least one of those weapons. And it's like, they're just fucking it up on purpose. They suck that fucking bad. And it pisses me off. The one thing I do like about noobs uh, is you can pretty much overpower the fuck out of them. Some of them. Not all, but some. Most, really. Uh, let's see, you can send a mugger on him some shit i did a few times some even had a lot of money in their pocket for some reason fucking dumbasses uh yeah that's that's their problem they keep their money in their pocket they don't take that shit out they don't put it in the bank makes it easy for me to get 10 grand off of them i do it all the time and it they're they're just they are there i wish we could like single out players when doing a mission look this motherfucker he's just trash that's it like I was saying I wish I, we could single out these players like 
allow players levels up to certain points to join us and get through the missions. It'll probably be more trolls in the end, but maybe, maybe not. Is something Rockstar been on this mission for the longest fucking time, trying to get ahead of them or ahead of the troll, so I can hurry up and wipe all of the enemies out before that motherfucker just drives through and be like hey I'm gonna kill myself yeah no it, it, it didn't work I tried hard but it didn't work and see the motherfucker behind me he's trying to kill himself now he fucked it up this time cause he was tired dude in front of me he's just a dumbass I, I fucking hate him instead of doing what I'm doing coming up this way no he goes the other way he doesn't want to strategize he wants to do his own thing and just be a fucking troll look at this shit he killed himself he fucking killed himself I don't know how he did it but he did it and he just stayed back there he said I quit I give up cause we couldn't get past this mission. And I was about to do the same thing, but no. Nope. I wanted to get this over with. And get through this mission, but... Nah, they wasn't having it. They wasn't gonna let it happen. The trolling aspect of a fucking... Of some of these noobs. It's... It pisses me off. When I first started on a heist. Low level players different ones from the pacific standards but like way back in the fucking fleece of heist it was like one he killed people instead of holding them down and shit and we had to reset he killed himself on purpose along with everybody in there we had to reset then the motherfucker left in the middle of the getaway Right when we were about to get picked up by the cargo bob, he split, was gone. And I was thinking to myself, you little bitch, did you do that on purpose or what? What, what was your goal behind this? And that's, that's what they do. They'll leave you in the middle of the most important heist. Even high level players do it, but I don't know, they're still noobs, yeah, they count. If you're doing that, you count as a noob, you suck, complete. At the end of every fucking mission, if we don't complete it and there's a noob that's just dying the most, and I see them in free mode, it's a, like a fucking 80% chance I will, I will hunt them down every time I will send a mugger I will stay right in, or I will stay near them in aiming sight call the mugger and when the mugger pushes them down I'll kill the mugger and then kill them that's how I do it just just the they don't deserve that money that's in their hand so fuck it we we did that mission you failed it multiple times you don't deserve that money it's mine now. You you couldn't you couldn't handle the fucking simplest task or the simplest objective, and uh, you're gonna get punished for it. Not me. No no. I'm gonna get your money, bitch. This time. And again, he dies. See, it's it's that terrible. And this like like really early. Like right when we arrive there, it's always early. When he dies, he's a troll. Everybody's been a noob the first week of GTA Online. Most people, at least. Uh, modders managed to fucking mod this shit, and glitchers such as me, glitcher, modder, whatever. I've actually found a glitch in the in the game and decided, huh, why not? RP glitch, and I kept it to myself. Didn't share with anybody until I reached level 125. Then I told a friend, told him to keep it a secret, but obviously he didn't. 
he told somebody else that person told two more people that person told some other people and we had fucking high level noobs now high level noobs we could do a contact mission and they were still fuck up so it's not just low level players it's high, a few high level players especially the ones with moderate accounts the fucking level 1000 he, he was on my yacht I fucked him up pretty well he ain't do much it was pretty funny but it's not always low level players it's high level players too especially the ones with moderate accounts and a few of them I've sold modern accounts too, but yeah, what, whatever. Uh, this this is pretty much why I hate noobs, low level players. It, they trolls, mainly the fucking trolls, and they're just easy kills for me. Uh, that's basically it. Yeah, just a little ramble of why I hate noobs, but uh, make sure to leave a like, share, subscribe, do whatever. It, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, uh, stay.